Mistral has just released Voxtral. Voxtral is Mistral's new open source speech understanding model released under Apache 2 license in two sizes, a 24 billion parameter version for production applications and a 3 billion parameter version for local and edge deployment. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If this is the first time you are visiting the channel, please subscribe and like the video. In this video, we are going to install one of the version locally and we will play around with it. Both of these models go beyond simple transcription to offer capabilities like long form context. Also, it can handle up to 30 to 40 minutes of audio. It has got built in QA and summarization plus it has multilingual support with automatic language detection you can even do function calling directly from a voice input both versions are positioned as alternatives to existing solutions and you can even compare it to the previous ministral model which mistral released around eight months ago and you can also say that this new voxtral is an upgrade of this previously released Ministron model which we also covered it in detail as you can see on the channel. Now this new model retains text understanding capabilities of their language model backbone which is Mistral Small 3.1 and are designed to bridge the gap between open source ASR systems with high error rates and expensive proprietary APIs. All of these benchmarks which you can check out on their model card show competitive performance across speech transcription, audio understanding and translation tasks with particular strength in multilingual scenarios. I'm also going to show you some of the multilingual examples. So let's get started. I am going to use VM and GPU by Mast Compute. If you are also looking to rent a GPU or VM on very, very good prices, you can find the link to their website in video description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. So this is my Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I am going to use UV Python package manager in order to get this installed. I already have it installed. If you don't know how to do it, just search my channel. It's very, very simple one-liner command in order to get it installed and we will be using vllm as an inference engine so i am installing latest nightly version of vllm with uv so let's run it it is going to take a bit of a time and while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with application in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And meanwhile, UV has installed everything as you can see here. And you can confirm the version of Mistral common which gets installed with VLLM by running this command. So all looks good. Now we can serve this VLLM with this new model. And I'm going to go with the 3 billion one. You can simply replace this 3 billion with 24 billion if you're deploying it in production environment and when the first time you run it it downloads the model so let's wait for it and the model is available in a consolidated safe tensor file so the size is just under 10 gigs so make sure that you have that much space and i will also show you the real time GPU consumption for VRAM and the model is now downloaded and being served on our local system as you can see here let me quickly show you the VRAM consumption so it is consuming over 42 gig of VRAM as you can see in real time okay let me clear the screen and let me first take you to the code as how you can use this model as it is being served by VLLM so I have written this small script which I have taken from their Hugging Fist card. Just modified it a bit to, lo to you be used with the local file. All I am doing here, I am importing the Mistral common and few other libraries. I am pointing it to VLLM's endpoint. 
and from there after initializing the client i am giving it this local audio file and then we are transcribing this and then printing out the transcription so not only that but i'm also asking it that what are the key themes in this piece so q and a so not only the transcription but also we are testing out q and a here and there are a few other things which i'm testing as you can see detailed one and if i scroll down this is where i'm printing it so this is the whole code okay so let me take you to my terminal and i'm going to run this and first up this is the audio i'm going to play and so my fellow americans ask not what your country can do for you ask what you can do for your country so i'm going to run that script so let's wait there you go so it has done the transcription it has done the analysis and it has even given us a summary so if i go up you see this is a transcription which is correct this is a analysis which i'm asking it to do it has done an analysis that likely a political figure is giving a speech to large audience because there was a clap towards the end and then these are the main themes which is you can see spot on community and unity all the themes are there even message is there so for one liner it has given quite a detailed response it has even pulled out key phrase which is this one which is right the tone of speaker is motivational and inspiring with a strong emphasis on personal responsibility and then it has given us a summary so you can see that the response of just 3 billion model which is taking quite a lot of vram but the response is of very good quality in the next test i am going to check out the asr capabilities for multilingual like spanish french portuguese hindi german dutch italian and arabic arabic is not supported but i'm just checking it nonetheless so let me take you to my terminal and i'm going to run this and we will then also check out with the actual audio file so i have provided it multiple audio files in my local system as you can see there i am iterating through it and from there i am doing the asr so not only it is transcribing i have also asked it to just give me gist of it or i'm asking some of the questions so it is going through all these languages and arabic it seems is not there so that is fine let me take you up and we will check out few of the languages and if you are that language speaker please also help out so i'm just going to play these audio in the background while you go through these responses let me first play the spanish one la felicidad es un sentimiento fugaz que se puede encontrar en los momentos más simples de la vida una conversación cálida con un ser querido, una hermosa puesta de sol o una buena taza de café pueden levantar instantáneamente nuestro ánimo. Es un estado mental que se puede cultivar a través de la gratitud, la atención plena y el autocuidado. Al enfocarnos en el presente y dejar... So interestingly enough, it doesn't print out the Spanish. It has printed out the translation of English, which is very interesting would be good if it if it could uh, put on you know the actual language and then it has given us the responses let's play, play the french here le bonheur est un sentiment fugace qui peut être trouvé dans les moments les plus simples de la vie une conversation chaleureuse avec un être cher un magnifique coucher de soleil ou une bonne tasse de café peuvent instantanément améliorer notre humeur C'est un état d'esprit qui peut être cultivé par la gratitude, la so This in the interest of time I am playing uh, just bits and pieces so that you could also let me know. Let's check out the Portuguese one. A felicidade é um sentimento fugaz que pode ser encontrado nos momentos mais simples da vida. Uma conversa calorosa com um ente querido, um belo pôr do sol ou uma boa xícara de café. Okay, let's check out Hindi now. And where is Hindi? 
बाजार में गरम गरम समोसे और चाय की खुशबू से भरा माहौल था जहां रंग बिरंगी साड़ियों में औरतें सब्जियां खरीद रही थीं। आई थिंक इट वॉज क्वाइट करेक्ट एंड फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ इट गूगल ट्रांसलेट टेल्स मीट इज क्वाइट गुड एनी वे लेट चेक आउट द जर्मन Glück ist ein flüchtiges Gefühl, das in den einfachsten Momenten des Lebens zu finden ist. Ein warmes Gespräch mit einem geliebten Menschen, ein wunderschöner Sonnenuntergang oder eine gute Tasse Kaffee können unsere Stimmung sofort heben. Es ist ein Geisteszustand, der durch Dankbarkeit, Achtsamkeit und Selbstfürsorge kultiviert. So that was German for you. Arabic is not present it seems, but it has done something. Let's check it out. Should be interesting. Where is that epic? في الصحراء الواسعة وجدنا واحة جميلة مليئة بأشجار التمر والنخيل حيث يمكننا الراحة تحت ظلالها الباردة. I think that was quite correct, and it's not in its uh, listed language, which is pretty interesting. Now, uh, would be great if it had uh, put in. The actual language, but I think still the translation is spot on. Now, in this final test, what I'm going to do, I'm going to test a function call or tool call with the help of my audio file. So, in the audio, what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask it this. Let me run this. Generate a new UUID unique identifier for me. Generate a new UUID unique identifier for me. I will pass this audio file to this model as you can see in this code it is going to actually convert my natural language prompt into a function call it is going to call this endpoint here and it it will get some uuid and return it to me which we can use so let me take you to my terminal and then we are going to run this here it is calling it let's wait and it has received the uuid it was very quick so you see uh, first it couldn't do it and then it had generated a random string but then it ha it was able to access it through the code and then it has returned it to me now what we can do here we can just let me modify the code a bit to make sure it forces it to go to api instead of generating its own code I have changed the code to make sure that it uses that function call otherwise it fails so let's run this there you go so this time it was able to do that function call this is a function which was triggered and from there it has generated this unique id so look pretty cool model i would say just in 3 billion size that is a uh, very very impressive the vram footprint is a bit higher but you can see that the quality of model was quite good and it it has improved a lot if you compare it to the minestrol that's it let me know what do you think please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for all the support